Now, Airsoft Mega Adapters, really not anything new. I've been using the primary Airsoft adapter for the last year now. Really enjoying it. I still think it's a great product, but there's just been a new competitor on the scene. And I gotta admit, I'm a big fan of this. I do think it is a really needed improvement. It's just a small little tweak and in innovation. Instead of putting the mag in the bottom like so and having it hang out your, your, your grip like this vertically, it goes in sideways and kind of you hold it like this somewhat. So you guys know I play with high kappas quite a bit. Um, definitely not my primary weapon per se, but I do like to play with them quite a bit, especially indoors. And as I said, I ran this at Siege Airsoft yesterday and I had a great time with it. I've never been a big fan of running gas mags. Main reason being they're kind of expensive here in Canada, um, but also they, it's cold. It's cold here in Canada. So gas doesn't always yield the best results to say the least. For the price of me buying four gas mags, I could just save the money and get an airsoft adapter and use the mags I already use and have more ammo, more consistency, adjustable FPS. There's so many, there's so many pros. But if you like running gas mags, that's you. Uh, I'm not gonna judge, you know, you do you. Definitely my biggest complaint with running a normal airsoft adapter, tap or primary, is just how far it sticks down. And I'm using short mags here, uh, so it's not exaggerated to the extent, but it would normally be about here. So you've got just a ton of extra room here, a lot of flappiness going on, and then you've got your hose, all sorts of stuff. It's just kind of complicated. It's in your way, it's in your face. And uh, you know, I get the argument of, oh, I just like running gas mags because there's less annoyance there. I get that, makes total sense. But now going to the Monk adapter, it is such a compact package and it's one thing to look at it, but it's one thing to play with it. When I originally saw this, I was like, I don't know if it's gonna make that big of a difference, but actually playing with it, oh my goodness, it makes a huge difference. Just, it's so much more, it's, it's just an extension of your arm, really. It honestly, I'm not even kidding you guys, it felt like I was playing with just gas mags when I was running this. I totally forgot about the hose because it comes out on just a bit more of an aggressive angle. I totally forgot about it, didn't even realize it was there. And the mag just sits so nice and flush against your arm and it almost gives you another point of contact just to keep it steady. Um, not like you need it, not like it's a stock or anything, that's not what I'm saying, but <coughs> if you wanted to, it's just, yeah, it just felt really, really good and I'm not exaggerating that. That is my honest truth. I, I really do think that this feels so much better and it literally does feel like I'm running gas mags, except I've got 170 rounds in my mags with these guys instead of, what, 30? At this point in my airsoft journey, I like just easy. Why overcomplicate it if you don't have to? I just wanna have fun shooting BBs. And that's what this thing does. It's just a brain dead easy way to just get out there and have a good time. But also from a competitive standpoint, I think this is insanely effective. I'm not playing Speaky B because there's no really options for that right now here in Canada. But if there were, I would be using this, hands down. Uh, second to none, one of the best teams out there. They pretty much always run the M adapters. With an adapter such as this, getting low can be quite difficult, as you can tell. And again, short mag, longer mag, bigger issue. But you can't really lie down. You've almost got to go sideways, you know what I mean? Or to do a dive or something like that, you're gonna be banging it off stuff. Not really ideal. But man, I was running around, sliding around, dolphin diving all over the field with this thing. And it didn't get in my way at all. I could actually be shooting and sliding. And like, if you're going in on your elbows, you're going in, like, you know what I mean? It's just, it, blah, it just works. Literally from that footprint, doesn't really look like I'm running a mega adapter. And that's exactly what it feels like. So if you like to play low, like to play aggressive, get all over the place, I definitely think this is an awesome option for you. Uh, it's built really well as well. Meg release on the top here also, which is something new, but it actually makes it just really easy to drop and change, and it actually is a great system. Yeah, I definitely think this is what we need in Airsoft, some more healthy competition, 
in the uh, high kappa adapter space as well as just any other space as well uh, brings costs down for everybody and uh, you know just gives us more options out there let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below these guys are now in Canada also for all my Canadian viewers um, so that's where I got mine from Monk Customs Canada and uh, there's also Monk Customs US all my US fans out there Monk Customs Brazil, Monk Customs, it's all over the place. Just, just Google it, dude. But uh, yeah, that pretty much wraps up today's video, you guys. We got an ESG video on the way also. I know you guys are probably like, cracking. you said you were doing Milsim. You know what, my channel is called Crack and Airsoft. If it shoots BBs, I'm gonna talk about it. Um, so yeah, love it or hate it, here it is. Monk Customs M Adapter. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys.